people on this, Omar Samad is a former Afghan ambassador to Canada, France, and Belgium. He joins us now from uh, Washington. Mr. Ambassador Samad, we appreciate your patience. Um, can you just tell us what are the main factors that led to this power sharing deal? Well, originally it started out with uh, presidential elections uh, that were seen as irregular and by some people as fraudulent with a lot of problems, announcements about results that uh, did not go through the whole process and the procedures that were in place. And so it, it created a political crisis in the country, uh, as you mentioned. But then, obviously, once uh, you know, President Ghani announced, uh, was announced as the winner, President, um, uh, Mr. Abdullah, Dr. Abdullah reacted very strongly. And at this point, um, uh, as they were trying to sort things out, Afghanistan started uh, facing uh, more insurgency, more attacks, and also the uh, threat of coronavirus. And I think that the compound of all of these risks and threats, political and otherwise, um, pushed all sides to try to find and broker a deal that would satisfy uh, all sides, as well as move the country forward towards peace talks, less violence, hopefully, and uh, maybe better governance as well. Well, you know, there was a lot of pressure on these two to solve the crisis. I mean, the Americans threatened to cut I believe, $1 billion in aid. Now, so with Abdullah Abdullah and um, President Ghani seemingly now on the same page, does this now mean a better economy and a safe Afghanistan, you think? Uh, I think what it's, go it's going to mean, first of all, is a boost in morale. I think people are going to put this behind and look forward and deal with uh, immediate issues. Immediate issues in Afghanistan are a combination of the insurgency, plus some terrorist attacks that are taking place and taking a lot of lives, uh, the continuation of the war in its, all its different forms, uh, the onset of coronavirus, which is taking lives in Afghanistan and is seen as a major risk down the road, as well as poverty. The economy has really shut down to a large extent. Uh, there's not much activity going on, and this in itself is a huge risk. So government has to uh, take stock of this and deal with these issues at the same time that there's this very fundamental uh, objective of taking the country towards uh, a negotiations uh, process with the Taliban, uh, which would include uh, a reduction in violence, maybe leading to a ceasefire, and also towards intra-Afghan talks, which would bring all sides to the table and think about and agree on what kind of future the country should have. My former Afghan ambassador to Canada, France, and Belgium, Mr. Omar Samad, we appreciate you taking time to speak with us here on TRT World.